This is Somai from Spitfire Audio with a walkthrough on obsolete machines. This was a special collaboration with Sam Battle, who's also known as Look Mom, No Computer. Sam has an incredible and very unique collection of handmade machinery that he soldered together and obsolete gadgets that he's found and renovated that produce all kinds of really interesting sounds some of which you may have already heard on his YouTube channel. With all of these, he has now also put together his very own museum if you wanted to look at some of those creations up close. He also was kind enough to let us in there to record some of the sounds to create this library. So let's have a look at what we have here. The first patch that we have here is called the Mega Drone, which Sam hand built and he included 1000 oscillators. It's pretty nuts. Let's have a listen. Absolutely love the right side fader, which goes from detuned to tuned and creates this really lovely effect of going from absolute chaos to a lovely chord. If we have a quick look at the GUI, the left hand fader gives you expression as per usual. The right side fader gives you a variation of dynamics or uh, warps and unison, depending on which patch you're on. On the big O, you have a filter. If you go to the left hand side halfway, you get a low pass filter and then from half point to the right, you get a high pass filter. You have reverb and I want to point out that over here you get different types of reverb that you can choose from and then also attack and release. If you right click on the dial, you can quickly assign the fader. And you get a really lovely little sweep there. The next sound is almost in tune. This one is also based on a mega drone. With the second fade up you can hear it's quite narrow but the more you go downwards the wider it gets. Next up we have Transcend. With the Dynamics fitters down, again you have a quite dry and up front. And you can hear how the warped sounds come in as you're fading upwards. Let's also assign the filter on here and have a listen to what it can sound. I find it super useful if I have to filter on a fader if I wanted to create some pulsing sounds. The next one is 8-bit blasts and this one is actually created from 20 Game Boy DMG classics. Let's try this one maybe with a different type of reverb. I quite like the stretched one and let's play with the filter as well. And in a lower register. Next up we have a wall of classics. Again, these were made from the 20 Game Boys. A little bit detuned with one another. And the dynamics fader all the way up is a bit more of a cleaner sound. And as you go down, it distorts more and gives you a bit more of drive.
You could use them as some really lovely drones. Maybe a little bit more reverb on those. And then again with the filter. This one is based on a sound that, again, Sam hand-built using a Sega Mega Machine. This sound has actually a little bit of a clap vibe too. Let's see what the filter does to it. Something you could do with the effects that you have here is turn one of these sounds a little bit more percussive. If we turn the filter all the way up, um, tuck all the way down, release we can play around with. And then you can either program really short notes in your MIDI draw or in Logic you have an arpeggiator option. Then here you can turn the note length down. Or you can actually do it in here. I think that is the length of the note. And then you can play with the release as well. And this is how I created one of the percussive sounds that you can hear in the trailer. Next up we have Punk Mod. With the sounds that you have here and the set of effects, what I like is having all these effects in constant motion. So I probably would program and automate for these faders to constantly go up and down and modulate throughout. Form and bass. Let's turn the release up a bit. You can actually go up all the way to 25 seconds, but I'll, I'll do it a little bit shorter. Attic dust. Let's add some reverb, maybe. I think that's my favorite one. And the last sound in our library is called Barely Functional.
Again, really love how it warps. Let's try the fader one more time. And some reverb as well. Try the lower register. Really beautiful and cool sounds that you have in this library, but we're really just touching the surface of what you can find in Sam's museum. If you get a chance to check it out, it's open to the public. And in the meantime, I would definitely recommend watching his YouTube channel, Look Mom No Computer, if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.